All right, YouTube, season number three, Minnesota Vikings. We didn't make the playoffs last year. Disappointing year in Minnesota. We redeemed ourselves. We had a great offseason. We were signed Derrick Brown at D-Tackle. My offseason was actually at Hold on. Going into season three, we have finally built a unit. We have absolutely built the unit of a team. Our team is super comp right now. Let me show you guys what we've done, how we got this team the way it is. We do have Kyler Murray coming back at quarterback, of course, leading the boys. Now, he is on the last year of his contract, and we are in some contract hell. So we did draft our boy Duckworth. They're telling me Duckworth is the future. He is the future of this channel. He's the future of this team. But right now, the ball is still with Kyler Murray. You see 98 overall, but it's his last year. We'll see if he wants to get re-signed or not. We'll see if he leaves or what's it going to go. But that's a question for next offseason. We still got Joe Mixon at running back. We did draft Sharif Rogers to be his, his heir apparent. Wide receivers are absolutely cracked now. We started with terrible wide receivers, if you guys remember. Now we have Watkins. Obviously, was always pretty good. Tim Patrick got that superstar game last season. He's a superstar now. And we drafted Jackson Smith and Jigba. Three superstar wide receivers shouldn't be guarded by anybody. And on top of that, we still got our boy Firemuth, the legend, Pat Firemuth. You guys know that. He's still a little bit slow, so it's going to be tough to get him the ball sometimes, but he's going to get it done. Offensive line, you guys know we got Quentin Nelson, who was also on the last year of his deal. Our, our salary cap is kind of tough. So for me, uh, I did superstar Eric McCoy, a center that we picked up last year. So we're going to have three secure protectors this year. I'm going to try to trade Quentin Nelson maybe for a first-round pick. But if not, he'll probably walk in the offseason. I don't have too much to, to re-sign him. We still got our boy Jedrick Willis, who's taking up a lot of salary, if you see that there. But he's a 26-year-old secured protector, so he's worth it. Defensively, still got our boy JFK, John Franklin Myers. Yeah, he's super the definition of mediocre. We did sign re-sign Derek Brown, who was a question mark. Where we're we gonna be able to re-sign our defensive tackle to hold down the middle, but we got him back. We got him back. 27-year-old superstar, big boy in the middle. We also have our boy Dotson, who's closing in on edge threat. Man, if you guys have been here, this is gonna be year three of Dotson, I believe, or year two of Dotson. He's up to an 84 overall. He's got Bogo. He needs to get to a 90 speed rusher. You see right there, he's at 83. So we got him extra trained up. Hopefully we can get him a lot of sacks, get him going. Cause if he go ahead and if he's go ahead and get edge threat, we're going to be cracked. Secondary, I mean, we're able to buy, actually able to buy our abilities now, add to the pot of the league. We're able to get Legereus Sneed, Jameel Dean, both have deep knockout and one step ahead. These guys are going to be studs now. We talked about it all year. They're great players, but they didn't have abilities. Now, back-to-back off-seasons, we were able to buy abilities for them per the league rules. Now, these guys are both tall, 95 speed, 96 speed. They both have deep knockout, and they both have one step ahead. Then on top of that, I have two slot corners, two young guys, Michael O and Greg Jr. Both of those guys have inside shade. They're not good enough yet to have one step ahead, but they have inside shade. Hopefully I can get these guys to 85 overall by the time the end of the season uh, winds down. So that way I'll have four corners with really good ratings and a lot of abilities. But like I said, we have two one step ahead and we have two inside shades along with two deep knockouts. That's actually insane. And I was able to draft this guy, James Sanford. Now, some people say he's the Rudy of the team, James Sanford. You know, doesn't look that great. James Sanford, number 31. He's 5'10", from Vanderbilt. 89 speed, yeah. 62 man coverage, yeah. 63 zone, yeah. But he's superstar. Can we turn this guy into something? Will he add to the team? James Sanford, will he be somebody going down the line here? Will he be? He won't play right away, but we'll see. Safeties, we got a bunch of them. Stevens, Moss, Users, William Jackson, Xavier McKinney. We have Amani Hooker and we have Jordan Battle, our second year superstar safety who has flat knockout. So I'm going to try to put him kind of in the flat, you know, kind of in a flat zone. He has flat knockout. Why not put him in the flat, see what happens. We'll see. He is a superstar. Hopefully by the end of the year, we can get him with some uh, deep zone knockout, which would be deep. 85 zone is what I need him to get to. He's at 80 zone. Maybe we can get him to 85 zone. That would be lit. So that's the team. We went from a no money spent team a couple years. We were able to buy some abilities per the league rules, make our players better. Our salary cap is really tight right now. 
but we prepared for it. Howie Roseman taught me. We got our, our quarterback of the future. We got our offensive linemen of the future. We got our corners of the future. Things are looking good for the Minnesota Vikings. Let's get into this. Week one, we played the Saints. I think now I played them the first year. This was my first team I played in CFM this year. And if you guys remember, that guy just chucked streaks. So he has Justin Herbert at quarterback, Josh Jacobs at running back, and a 98 speed Marquise Brown and a 99 speed John Green. Two small guys that are fast. So we'll see. Do you think Sneed and Dean at 95 and 96 speed with deep knockout can keep up with those guys? How's it going to work in CFM? Will they be enough to keep up with deep knockout? Now, they're going to be trailing these guys. They're also short. I think that always matters. Like, if you're short and it's a tall DB, he can be, I mean, he can be a little bit slower because his player build will be that much bigger than the small guy. But will they be able to keep up? We'll find out early and often with that deep knockout. We'll see if they can get it done. This is, the, this is our goal. Let's see if he has any defensive players. Tight end Parham. Ugh, that's nasty. Let's see if there's any pass rushers. Bobby Wagner. Ugh. No pass rushers. DBs, Eric Stokes, Kai Elam, DJ Turner. I mean, these guys are actually really fast and pretty good. You know, they are pretty good, these guys here. Stokes, Elam, Elam, and DJ Turner. Whoever Turner is, 98 speed, and that guy's kind of a lord. I might be able to do something. We'll see. Let's go. We are playing the New Orleans Saints. CFM Vikings Season 3 kicks off right now. I don't know. Where's Matty at for bets? Dobson, that's our boy, rookie. I don't know. He looked like he was kind of moving. Can't move. Oh, that was tough. That was bad. I mean, dude, like, like I want to get more on that right there. Like, I really do. That dude's bagged his sh right there. God, them dudes were f bagged, man. I mean, there's just no f way that just got that. M like, dude, there's just no way that how does that get. F Dog, there's just no way that 0-1 trap just kills our defense that bad. There's just no way in hell. I run 0-1 trap for two yards. He runs it one time, just 80 yards off the bat. 80 yards. God, I swear to God, I hate this. I hate this guy. Yeah. Dog, come on, man. It's, uh, come on now. Come on, game. Come on, game. That's what we're not doing right now, man. I mean, luckily, he sucks. <laughs> Ew. I playmakered him just a little bit. Now, come on. Can we just stop on one trap one time, boys? That would be awesome. Dog, like, come, like, come on, team. Pick. I mean, come on, Hooker, like, you're in a. Oh. Thank you, man. Good job, Derek Brown. Way to show up to the party. We spent $500 million on you. Pick, pick, pick. Oh, come on, Dotson. Pick. Thank you, Hooker. Let's go, man. Oh my God, come on, man. 
Bro, how is a no name just. Dude, there's no way a, a fing no ability just did that shit that fast. I hate. I, dude, I swear to God, and the chat will say, run the ball. You see, do you see the shit? A nobody just made that play. Let's go, Quez. Let's go, Tim Patrick. Timmy P, the Lord. Just they're trying me, aren't they, boys? Come on, run. Pick. Oh, oh, oh. oh, there's just no way. And then Michael. Oh, what type of. There's just no way. This is a touch. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh my god. Just no way that was a touchdown. There's literally no way that was a touchdown. <laughs> like, like, he breaks a tackle to make one dude just miss. So, the one dude misses a tackle, but because he missed the tackle, the other guy overran it because of the missed tackle animation. Then, the rest of my team said, nah, we're good. And the rest of my team literally just, like, moved out of the way for that. Oh my god, come on, dude. You're a superstar player. Can we hold a block for two seconds? Dog, this is miserable right now, man. Jackson Smith and Jigba. Jackson Smith. Dog, when, when, once you start realizing that me running the ball is just a negative for my team, it's an absolute negative for my team. Hmm. Damn, man. We really just got stopped on that one fourth down. Dude, his 0-1 trap is just absolutely mauling. Pick, 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 pick. Oh, come on, baby. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, if he throws that ball, he's going to audible, though. He's audible every time so far. Yep. Let's go, Dotson getting home. The boy's screaming. Let's go, Dotson. Dog, oh, come on, man. It's red zone threat, and we're dropping that. He's going to play zone this time, dude. He's going to play zone. See, this is a zone. Jackson Smith and Jigba touchdown. That's what I'm betting here, boys. Move! Three for 13. Holy sh**. <laughs> oh, man. I mean, the fact that that was like an option for you. Dog, like it's the way my safety's getting just put. Hey, bro, this is so sad. Just run on one trap again. It's awful, man. Four for 15. Thank you, Derek Brown. I signed you for $50 million. Deep knockout? Oh, come on, Dean. Oh, he just held Y. Like, you got to be better there. That was just, just miserable. Dude, there's just no way. Oh, the good old stack here. What else would he run, right, boys? Yeah. 
But it, but if you don't get this, the whole game, like, you give up a field goal. Let's go, Tim Patrick. Get a block there, fire move. Oh, you clicked off, you little broad. That's why you suck. Oh, it just lagged crazy. I mean, dude, if you didn't bump into that guy. Jackson, Smith, and Jigba. I gotta be smarter, because I gotta know to run that play when they base line man. Like, that should be a play I run every play. Because when they base line man coverage, like, the man that's guarding the outside receiver is all the way out wide, so he can't guard drags. Both of those drags are open by 10 yards. Mentally a little rusty. I'm not, I'm not sharp, I'm not super sharp. Dude, this, I, honestly, this is like simply bad inside the, or, uh, 01 trap defense. I don't know what else you guys, I mean, 01 trap is just killing. I just got to pinch my line. I'm just, I've seen enough, dude. Let's go, man. Yo, I'm so proud of my team. I feel like we're really actually like getting pressure now, dude. It's, it's actually like nice, ain't it, boys? Look at Dotson go, man. I'm just mad I don't have any sacks because of this stuff, you know? Oh my god, W. I'm talking to chat. Let's go. It's a good throw by me, honestly. All in all. Limbo's ass until he's not ass. Reds on threat. Oh. oh, come on, fire move. There's just no way we're still running for no one trap, dude. Never mind, Stevens. Ah, oh, I tried to juke right there. They ain't let me juke. I mean, what absolute poise right there. Like, what absolute poise. Uh, tell you, man, if DB fire base line get just screams again, like the offensive line is so ass. I'm telling you, this Vikings team is actually kind of cracked right now. Dog, if you would see how unlucky I'm getting on, like, how unlucky this block sheds and shit are right now. How? I am so f unlucky, dude. How do we just run? Like how? Like how? How does that? How does that happen? We bump into somebody and fall out of the way. Come on, bro. We gotta catch that. Like, how can we not block three guys? Who is Stovall? Man. All right, Greg Jr. What are we doing here, man? That was up. Holy sh! Caught the football. I'm starting to get tired of the Heat fans, to be honest. Not enough for me to root for the Celtics, though.
Little Ninja, you got crazy attitude tonight. Dude, what's your bank account looking like, honestly? Ooh. Like inside zone is so free right here. No straight through though. Let's go. Let's go, Riley Moss. The Vikings are the Vikings a comp team now? Season three, Kyler Murray, 507 yards. Jackson Smith and Jigba, Joe Mixon, Quez Watkins, Tim Patrick. Everybody had a touchdown. Mixon had two defense. We didn't have one sack, dude. That's just like Stevens and Moss with picks. We didn't get one sack, though, boys. Like, that's like Dean got three passes defended, though. Dean, boost. Like, when you look at this, when you look at seven for 26, 26% 26 completions, and we didn't get a sack, disappointing. Disappointing outcome. GG's, though. GG's. Good start.